This is my transformed end portal. And this is my nether portal. Do you spot the difference? Let me show you guys again. End portal, nether portal. End portal, nether portal. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely darker. So today, we're going to completely transform the nether portal into this in hardcore Minecraft. So let's build the nether portal somewhere in the ocean. This seems like a good... Oh, that hurt. I'm just kidding. It's a block game. Let's start building the giant frame. And... Oh my god. I built it on the wrong side. I'm an idiot. And all fixed. So here's the game plan. So this is the frame of the new nether portal. And we're gonna fill it in with tons of layers of glass to make it look cool. I'm then gonna surround the entire portal with some stone and some grass to make it look like a mountain. Then divide it up and build different biomes on top of it. Like the plains, the desert, the mesa biome, an ocean biome, and many more. So we're gonna need a ton of blocks to build this thing. And luckily on the last episode, I built myself a flower farm. And using all of these flowers, I can turn them into dye and then combine them into purple dye. Well, I don't really need to do that because I already wow. did. Yeah. And this will make us unlimited purple stained glass. And I also need magenta stained glass to give the glass a cool effect. And we can get an unlimited supply of magenta glass as well. We also have this automatic stone farm that will get us unlimited stone. The only major block that we're missing is obsidian. <laughs> nice. 18 pieces. And I already ran out. This is going great. I totally have enough obsidian. I have a solution to fix this. It's going to be insane. You guys would not believe what I'm about to do. Okay, this idea sucks. This is so slow. Let's head home, grab a bunch of materials. Now find a stronghold. These are some really cool looking biomes. This shipwreck is in an iceberg. It's just floating on top of an iceberg. It's not even touching the water. Iceberg just ate the ship. <laughs> Nice. And now let's build an automatic obsidian farm. Let's first light this portal up. That's the first time I've done that in a very long time. And now for some redstone stuff. There we go. And now let's remove this lava pod and start working on a chunk loader. Nice. I, I built this all wrong. I'm a failure. And let's build the same exact thing in the nether. Why, why must there be lava? It makes my life so much harder. Come on, man. This nether portal couldn't have generated in a worse position. And oh my, why? Yeah, that's right. So I got myself a golden apple. Let's eat it. It should give me, it, it does give me fire resistance. Nice. Okay, I got myself a fire resistance potion for only 44 seconds. Um, I need to go quick. I think it needs to be a few more blocks deep. I think I think this should be good. Now, if I just block all the lava, it should work. There we go. Bruh, your arrows aren't touching me, buddy. He's just shooting arrows through the portal. Use your brain. All right, let's finish this up. Now let's cover up the other side of the portal and let's go back in. Now let's go to the end and let's put down a chest and some hoppers. Let's build a beacon with haste too. Let's turn it on and let's AFK this obsidian machine for one hour. And that got me... Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> that got me 28 stacks of obsidian. I think we're good now. So now we can finally start working on the frame of the giant nether portal. And there we go. I turned all of the dirt into obsidian and this is how big the nether portal is going to be. This is going to be one massive project. Also, look at me. <laughs> Just casually backstroking in the ocean. No biggie. But now let's take all of the obsidian and thicken this portal up a little bit. Well, that used up all of my obsidian, but it's looking a lot better now. This is now 10 blocks thick, allowing me to stack five different... Oh, that's the same one. Oh, that is, both of them are the same one. That will allow me to stack five different layers of each different purple, if that makes sense, like this. So from a distance, it will actually look like a portal. That, that That's pretty trippy. <laughs> and it's going to take a lot of glass. <laughs> but we're going to save that for later. For now, let's head over to this edge and thicken up the wall. Yes, I said it right. Totally first try. For now, let's head over to these... Oh my... <laughs> for now, let's head over to these... Okay, well, one day I'll make the jump, one day. For now, let's head over to the... the, the oh. Please, please, please. For now, let's head over to this edge here and thick up the thick. What the heck? Minecraft, come on. And now I have a mob farm under here, but don't you worry. The creepers don't bother anymore. You know why? Because it's made of obsidian. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. 
Now that the obsidian frame for the nether portal is done, let's move on to the fun part of this project. And that is to turn this portal into some sort of natural looking mountain that's coming out of the ocean. So I'm going to layer the entire portal with some stone and then some dirt and some grass. So I really hope it looks good. This might be a huge, huge mistake. Uh, I'm normal. And wow, that is hideous. Um, okay, well, I'm a failure. Um, let's just destroy this and uh, delete what you saw from your memory. Okay, so I did a bit of adjusting and it looks a little better now. This corner, it's a little messed up still. And my lights are broke. Nice. I just got to go back to swimming like a normal Minecraft player. I'm such a noob. Now let's start working on the right side. Now that the arc is complete and looking pretty bad, let's start the next layer, which will be dirt. Whee! Destroying the earth is great. Just kidding. Don't do that. That looks pretty good. I even added a little slope right here so it looks more natural. And now at the very tip of the top, instead of using grass as the green grass, <laughs> We're gonna swap that out and use some moss blocks. Why you may ask? Well, it looks better. Because like from the distance, you can't even tell that's grass. So let's just uh, peacefully collect some lush blocks. So I probably don't need much more than this because if we just come here and place down the moss, I can bone meal it and it'll just expand. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. So now let's just continue expanding the dirt, which will allow me to bone meal the moss blocks. So I'm about halfway done building the dirt on top of the nether portal when I suddenly realized all of it is pretty useless. Because do you remember when I said I was going to build different biomes on top of the portal? Well, I'm going to have to... Oh, oh God. <laughs> Hello there. I would have to destroy all of this dirt anyways to replace it with like end stone. So I I'm just going to leave it as that. Um, let me just... Stop. But there is one thing I do want to finish, and that is the backside of the portal, because I'm not going to leave it half finished. So let's take even more stone, and let's start building the backside of the nether portal. And let's make it nice and thick. <laughs> Come on, Cookie. It's another portal. Get your head out of the gutter. I'm sorry, Cookie. Yeah, I think I've officially gone insane. I I'm talking to myself. But the other side is complete, and it went pretty great. Totally easy, like a, a breeze. I didn't have a single problem. Oh, my God. No, no. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, I'm over this. I'm lighting up this entire place. These mobs are so annoying. Oh my god. Why do I never think of lighting up the area before I start building? Why do I do this to myself? Like, why? Why? Oh god, I'm gonna die. But I'm just gonna leave the rest of the dirt empty for when I build the custom biomes. So now let's work on the dividers that will separate the custom biomes. And to build that, we're gonna need to go to the nether. And I can't get over how ugly this is. Wow. I literally put negative effort into this nether portal. <laughs> so we're gonna need some of these logs. I'm also gonna need a lot of these red leaves. And next up, let's actually go to the end and collect some purple blocks. Because I want the nether portal to have the same color design as this. Wee. Ah, look at this. This is beautiful. <laughs> Just a completely destroyed end city. Whoever did this is a monster. I swear, I have a beacon placed everywhere. <laughs> I just build it and then forget about it and leave it here. <laughs> That's when you know you're rich. All right, now that I have everything, let's start building the outlines for the dividers for all of the biomes, just so I have a good sense of where everything is going. And this is what I got so far for the dividers. They look kind of weird, like little tentacles coming around the portal, but that that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> so now if I come on top of here and I turn all of this red wood into quadruple redwood. I'm going to layer the top and bottom side of these little vein tentacle things and probably should I strip them? Hmm. Yeah, I think I will because it will transition into some purple blocks since it's a lot lighter. So let's start adding the redwood to all of the tentacles. And let's also add the purple blocks. And 
and most of them are looking pretty flat. I tried adding a little bit more depth to these leaves and it looks a little better. So I'm going to do that to all of the tentacles. I really need a better word for this. <laughs> And just a reminder, this is what my portal looked like at the beginning of the video. And this is what it looks like now. Let's finally start working on the custom biomes. At the very top of the portal, I'm going to continue with the plains biome and a desert biome because it's sand falls. So it needs to be at the top. Then we'll do a mushroom biome, an ice biome, a mesa biome, an end biome, and a jungle biome. All right. Let's grab some moss blocks and my bones. And let's just place them all over this dirt and bone meal it. This will be the easiest way to make this plains biome. It's not really a plains biome, but let's just let's just say it is. <laughs> oh, I forgot to finish it. Bruh. Well, that's rather unfortunate. There we go. Now let's finish up the tentacle. That'll divide the biomes. And now we can continue expanding the biome until it's all filled in. Nice. I missed the spot. Let's just cover it up. <laughs> let's also replace a bit of this dirt on the side. So it looks like it's transitioning. Let's now grow a few of these trees. And let's clear out a little area right on the top of the surface. And I'm going to need some wood. So let's just uh, chop some of this down. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, go. Hope you can swim. And now let's build a little hut on top of the plains biome. And that is the plains biome complete. We just got six more to go. And the next biome I'm going to work on is going to be right beside it. And it's going to be the desert. Let's just uh, fly over here. And don't mind me. Let me, let me just uh, politely destroy this sacred and beautiful land of this Minecraft world. Okay, I got myself a few extra materials. And let's start building this desert. Now let's build a little water stream lake thingy. Now let's spam some dead bushes around. And I'm done. Why does it feel like I'm missing something? Uh, how can I forget? Cactuses. Let's do something like this. I'm planning on building like a well. So let's just put some stairs. Bam, 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 bam. Boop, boop, boop. And just a little ring around it with some slabs. Now some blocks. Let's grab some water and bam. And now all we got to do is finish up this divider. And that is the desert biome complete on the nether portal. So far it's looking pretty good. It's going to look pretty insane when it's completely filled in with biomes. And the very next biome that I want to work on right over here will be the mushroom biome. Dang, this is a giant island. Let's just steal a bunch of mycelium. Now, stealing this from the island makes me feel bad because it's like rare, you know? Like, I don't want to mess up the island too bad. Uh... Whoops. Let's also steal some baby daddy mushrooms and some big daddy mushrooms. And let's also grab some normal red mushrooms, the baby daddy ones, and... Okay, there's two. Um, wh why, why does it seem impossible to get? Hello? Okay, from that entire mushroom, I only got six mushrooms. How does that make any sense? Oh. All right, let's start spamming some mycelium blocks. I'm kind of worried for this because it's kind of like the grass problem I have. It's difficult to see the purple from a distance away. So, uh, yeah, this might turn out super bad. But let's build the ground and see for ourselves. Now that the terrain is done, I had to make it. A, oh, I had to give this like a second level because this whole mountain was a little too steep. So now let's take some of these mushroom items and start building some mushroom things. It needs to be a little slanted because we're on the slant of this portal. So it's probably going to look really bad. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah, let's just see how it turns out. And now let's add the baby mushrooms all over the mycelium and here. <laughs> ah, ah, will be the lonely red mushroom over on this lonely corner. And that is the mushroom biome complete. So far, this nether portal is looking pretty cool. But now over on the bottom here, it's a little spikier and steeper. So I have a perfect biome that'll fit right here. And it's going to be the ice biome. Do I have enough ice? Um... Probably not. Let's go find some ice. Wait, I could find ice right on top of the mountains. And how is there a bee up here? Are you not frozen? Or animals? And a parrot! What? That doesn't make any sense. How? What are you doing up here? You're... You boy, you lost, bruh. Why is there such a big diversity of animals on top of an ice mountain? That You know what? I've seen enough. Let, let's just... Let's just mind my own business. This guy is pretty cute, though. What should we name him? I feel like that... <laughs> I was just about to make a new friend. Well, at least I got 
some ice from that creeper. This should be enough. And let's fly over here. I probably need to... Oh, come on, man. Why does gravity exist? Let's destroy all this because it kind of doesn't match this whole terrain style. And let's rebuild it all, but with ice. And now the divider. Now let's head over here and steal some snow. And let's also yoink this entire spruce tree. And let's use some of this snow to cover up the floors so it adds a bit of whiteness. Why can't I? Please go away. Why can't I place snow on ice, but I could place it on blue ice? How does that make any sense? They're both the same thing, just different color. I don't understand, man. And with the remaining snow blocks, oh, I guess all the snow blocks, I didn't use a single one yet. <laughs> let's build a little igloo. And there we go. It's a pretty spacious igloo. You know, you can, you can store a lot of stuff in here, like yourself. So yeah, let's also build a few spruce trees that are diagonal that matches the curve of the portal. And lastly, let's just come here and put down some random pumpkin heads on top of fence gates, if I could do it, just to add some color and to make it look kind of scarecrowy. And that makes the fourth custom biome complete. It's starting to come together quite nicely. Let's start working on the opposite side now. And right over here, I'm thinking of building the end dimension. Let's fly into my beautiful portal. Let's go into the end and let's collect some end stone. And let's also collect these big, tall, flower, purple things. I don't really know much about these things, but they're just super satisfying to break. Like, look at that. That's so fun. <laughs> Wait, could I even plant these? Oh my, I can't. All right, I need those things, those square thingies. Pretty sure I could just shoot them down, right? Pew. <gasps> cool. Oh, I guess it's target practice. And since we're here, let's also steal a bunch of blocks from this end city. The blocks that do still exist. <laughs> so we can recreate a small little city on the custom biome. Help! Help! There's so many dudes on me. That sounded so wrong. Okay, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's start building. All right, now let's bring up some chorus flowers and just plant them everywhere. I'm pretty sure they just grow on their own, so uh, we'll just let them do their thing. <laughs> and while we wait for these chorus fruit to grow, go check out my brand new merch that is out now. It's only on sale for a limited time only for like about a month. And there's a ton of cool designs for you guys to pick from. It'll mean a lot if you guys go check out the website at cookiegod.shop or click the first link in the description. Now let's take all the purple blocks that I got and let's recreate a little end house on this custom biome. And there we go. If you enter the house right here, it's a pretty small space. But if you turn left, there's a secret little room that shows the inside of the nether portal, which is uh, kind of cool. It's like behind the scenes, but in real life, but also in Minecraft. <laughs> that is the custom end biome complete. And I can't wait until this entire nether portal is filled with purple stained glass. So it looks like a giant nether portal in the ocean. Then below it right there, kind of where that enderman is standing will be the actual portal hidden inside the stained glass but the final two biomes that i need to work on are the mesa biome and the jungle biome and i'm actually going to build the mesa biome first right here because the jungle biome will be here and it's lower if you can see and jungles have tall trees so it, it will tower up yeah, let, let's just start building. Let's come down here and grab some terracotta. Why am I making my life so difficult? I could just go to an actual mesa biome and take every block here. That way, I have everything I need. Wait, I'm even dumber. If I fly a little bit this way, I'm pretty sure I have a B. Oh, I do. Ah, let's go. Now let's start recreating the mesa biome. I don't really know what colors go where because there's like a specific color theory thing pattern in the mesa biome. So I'm just going to start with some uh, white terracotta. Make it curve around a little bit to follow the mountain shape and it needs to fit right underneath the divider here one of these tentacles now let's go terracotta on top like that and then i'm pretty sure there's a big layer of brown just a big poop streak so let's do that here and this needs to be pretty steep to reach up there so let's make this a little taller all right let's continue building For the Mesa Biome, there isn't much like accessory type of things I can build on here, except for one thing. And that thing is a rail out oh. oh. is a railroad track. So let's point it out of the mountain, kind of like this. I can't make it too long or it'll look a little awkward. So let's just like have it come out four blocks. Let's strip all this, add some slabs, and right in the middle, let's just make a little line so I can put some rails and put a TNT minecart right there. Hopefully, it never blows up. And you know what? Let's just extend it into the mountain because why not? Here's another secret entrance inside. It's pretty cool in here. Let's also make some support beam looking things coming from this little 
pillar just like that and now let's just add some campfires to make it look like it broke on this side so it's just like falling apart and a few slabs and logs there we go that's that's pretty cool i like that the tnt just adds a nice bit of color too it's like a danger zone and the final biome i need to build is going to be the jungle biome and we're going to build a fat tree that comes from this top and come up there it's probably going to like interfere with the railroad but it's kind of cool the biomes are going to like cross <laughs> oh jeez. and let's find myself some jungle logs nice and uh you know what? Actually, I'm too lazy to find all my stuff in my chest room. So let's just fly over here to this convenient small little jungle that I have behind my base. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a nether portal thing in here. I didn't even notice. What's in here? Um, okay, nothing good. But that's a cool find. It's just hidden inside the jungle. And eh, my elytra broken. Now I'm stuck in the jungle. Ah! Oh, since I'm a chimpanzee now, uh, might as well just mine some wood and take all the stuff I need, like vines. And I can't even collect it, bruh. Do I have shears? Nice. As I was saying, can't forget jungle leaves. Yeah. My favorite leaf ever because it's so green and luscious. Kind of like my armpits. I just let it grow and I even named my armpit here Amazon. And the other armpit is rainforest. And let me tell you, it's always raining in there. <laughs> oh, I'm so weird. Let's also collect some bamboo. Do I have uh, any swords? No. All right. Back to the basics. <laughs> also collect some melons i feel like a very specific youtuber right now just harvesting melons well i guess i guess he does the opposite um and after collecting everything i need i then made a long journey home through the treacherous jungle it was pretty painful how can i ever forget about cocoa beans i'm literally the cookie god like how <laughs> wait i'm the cookie god i forgot all i need to do is take these off and just squat squeeze it a little bit and nice i love being able to poop out cocoa beans on demand nice and fresh too that's just a, a poop joke funny right <laughs> all right i finally made it back with my fixed elytra and let's start building the jungle temple jungle jungle biome I can't believe i'm saying jungle temple i built that video like six months ago it's just ingrained in my brain i'm a rapper ingrained in my brain i am so lame wait just made fun of myself <laughs> awkward all right I I'll, I'll shut up and continue building <laughs> first things first let's build some trees let's turn these into some four-sided wood throw away the garbage and we gotta make it slant like usual this one's gonna be a even bigger slant because it's further down on the nether portal so it's like vertical almost like that and i start building the canopy Building diagonal trees are so hard. It's impossible. Look at this. Look at how disgusting that looks. <laughs> this is so challenging. All right. I built two now. Um, This one looks a lot better. They don't really look like jungle trees, but there's something. They're, they look like trees. Now let's add a bunch of vines to make it look jungly. And hopefully some vines grow down onto the grass. Add some to this tree. Oh, you add them to leaves. I didn't know that. Let's go. <laughs> Can't forget the cocoa beans. That makes some cookies. Let's throw some bamboo around. They're probably going to grow super tall, so I should put some straight on top of that one day <laughs> let's slap down the melons and the pumpkins and you can't forget the boat oh Hello. oh no why please go away you can't camouflage <laughs> and the bone meal to give it a bit more uh stuff okay i wanted more poppies because uh they're bright and beautiful so over to my flower machine let's turn it on yeah this is so convenient and really loud let's plant some beautiful colorful flowers and there we go the jungle biome is complete which marks all seven custom biomes on top or around the nether portal finished and it looks really cool and the final thing and the most important thing to work on now is the actual glass panes that will give the nether portal the nether portal effect and why did i build that there that's so pointless i wasted so much time that was so hard to build i don't use my brain often but earlier at the beginning of the video which was actually like seven days ago i could collected a ton of glass already so for the first layer wait i forgot obsidian on the floor so as i was saying the first layer i'm gonna use is magenta just because it's brighter than purple so it'll make the entire effect look cooler and brighter so let's fill in this first layer and then we got a bunch more to go which is uh gonna be really painful god that's that's gonna be a lot of work and a lot of right clicking oh let's start the pain and the epic glass building montage thingy yeah that was less cool than i, th I hoped so um why oh, am I so awkward, man? Put the chill tail. Bow, bow, wow, 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 wow. Boom, 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 boom. That, that's supposed to be drum music. Um.
And I'm finally done. Building this first layer took me forever. Just an idea. Building this and it took me 30 plus minutes of just straight right clicking to finish. And guess what? It gets worse. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten layers to complete. Ten layers. That is another five hours of right clicking. This is gonna be painful to finish. Well, Please, please move. I know I know you're purple and you think I can't see you, but I can clearly see you. You're holding a big green cactus. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm on edge. This is so bad. This is going pretty well, you know? Like, this, this is pretty entertaining for me. Just obsidian and some glass and right-clicking my mouse. This is this is great. It's going good. Uh, you know, it's, it's not getting to me yet. I mean, like, it, it's still... It's going, it's going fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh... The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round the wheels. This is so boring and done. That makes a total of four layers of glass complete, which was uh, more than five double chests. Let's see how it looks. Oh my God. That looks really cool. It already looks like a real portal. Now just imagine oh, all, all of the glass in place. This is going to be an insane effect. But while placing on all of these stacks of glass, I took a ton of AFKing my sand duper machine, smelting the glass, collecting the right dyes, and combining all of that to make purple and magenta stained glass. Now with all of this glass, let's start finishing this up. The pain begins now. Uh, Spider-Man. Wait. And after a few stressful hours, I have finally completed a nether portal. I added so many layers of glass, it basically looks like solid purple. So uh, I probably should have added a few gaps. And I even didn't finish the last two layers because it's just a little too thick, like my bum. So we'll leave it as that. We're not completely finished yet because the portal actually doesn't work yet. So let's just come right down here to the middle and break a little doorway. Just a small three by three area. And let's dig it in a few blocks. It kind of hurts doing this because... I spent so many, so many painful hours building this, but it's, it has to be done. And now let's just take some obsidian and build a little portal. Let's light her up and this one will actually work. And before we finish it all, let's see where this portal leads me because I didn't even test it. Please be something good. Please be somewhere, somewhere good. Okay. We are not that far away, but the portal down here is my new portal, and the one up there is the old one, the ugly one. And that is how I completely transformed this boring old nether portal into this in hardcore Minecraft. It looks pretty insane. Don't forget to check out my limited edition merch at a cookie Make some memories and goodbye.